Hey everybody, uh, today we are going to change the headlights on my 2007 Honda Fit Sport. Um, and I thought I would show you guys what we're going to use to do it with. Uh, because, well, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. So I grabbed a variety of tools that I've used in the past. A couple different types of pliers. Uh, some two Phillips and two nubbies. Uh, two or flatheads. Two of them are short. Uh, I call them nubbies because, well, you have a little bit of throw room. And as you, you'll see when we get in there, we're actually going to pull our fender guard back in order to access the headlight clips so that we don't have to like take off a bumper or do anything totally crazy. These are the LED headlights that I'm going to replace them with. I got them on Amazon. Uh, I currently have LED headlights in there that I also got on Amazon um, on the cheap. I recommend you don't go cheap, otherwise they burn out and turn purple and it's really not a good look when you're driving down the road at night, especially in a wooded area. So we are going to start with turning the car on. Uh, we're gonna pop the hood, which is the hood prop is actually down here on your bottom left pretty easy identifiable but if some car is older like this one is it might have uh, that little symbol might have worn off of there and the reason we're gonna pop the hood is so that we can see what we're doing give it some more daylight uh, but everything's gonna be kind of up underneath the fender wheel the reason we turn the car on is because we're gonna turn the wheel give us as much room as possible to be able to actually get up into the fender well and I'm gonna turn this off now so you can see what I'm working with um, now that I've turned this I'm actually gonna get in here with my flathead and my Phillips and pull any little rivets that are right up in here. And this is gonna come down. I'm gonna reach my hand up in here to get to these bulbs, which we're gonna take better video of that. Um, yes, you can jack up the car and take the wheel off, but uh, I really dislike taking the tire off my car to change my headlights. It just feels like a giant waste of time. So um, if you have big beefy man hands, not like small girly hands, it can be beneficial to give yourself more working room. So those of you guys out there doing this video, um, I apologize. I do have small girl hands and it will make it easier for me and harder for you. And then in order to open the hood, there is a uh, latch right here. It's a little bit to the left, almost to the passenger side of the hood that it just flips up. See if I'm touching with my hand, flips up, unlock it. And then you have your hood prop right across the front here. You can hit it here or you'll see one way back here. You can hit there too if you really need a lot of room. I don't like it being that close to my windshield. So I hit it there, but that is a secondary hood auxiliary prop for those of you who work on cars. Um, you'll know that sometimes that's not necessarily a bad thing. So um, let's get started. I'm going to grab my, my, my tools out here, throw my floor mat on the ground so my knees don't get wet in the rain. And so right here underneath this, if you reach up in here and you feel around using the braille method, you'll realize there's a rivet. If you get a flathead screwdriver, sorry, drop that up into the side of it, you can pop this out. This expander locks it in place, so you just pop it out and you can pull it down. That allows you to get in here and pull this corner back, which the more you pull it back, the more you can actually get your hand in here. I'm gonna try and get another rivet out of here in the middle here in just a second. So we paused there for a second. Uh, I actually turned the wheel the other way to give myself a little bit more room to get back in here uh, to be able to push this down and back. Um, Cause as you'll see, you're kind of concaving it. Um, I didn't end up taking any other rivets out. You can take this one out up here if you want to, if you want to give yourself some more room. And I can do that so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is uh, from right here. I want to get myself some more room. It looks like a another rivet, but it's actually a small Phillips screws metal with the plastics rivet. So it's a combination rivet. I popped mine out with a flathead, it didn't break anything. I'm unscrewing it, so when I put it back in, it'll lock up in right. Um, but now that I've got that one here and this one here out, these two, when I pull it back and down, I can pop it and get it to stay. So that I'm not pinching my arm, trying to get my hand up in here for my headlight. And, but you're gonna reach up in here and basically just find the back of your light bulb and unclip it and um, they really typically have like a hinge lock system like you push push with your fingertips and over. Um, I'll try and get a good shot of it for you guys when I get it out. But I wanted you guys to be able to see up in here. You see that metal clip right there? That pushes over and clips across the top to hold the light in place. So you line up the three prongs and then you, using your, your hand, you just kind of push that metal clip over and up. I ended the metal clip and I'm pulling it down and out as you can see it's just it's got two two uh two bottom 
prongs and a top one. Those are guides to make sure you sit it in the hole properly. And then I've got to find the clip here and actually and unplug it, um, which is easier done with two light, two hands. Um, I'm trying to do everything one-handed right now for some silly reason. It literally is just a three-prong plug, super easy. But I had stuck electrical tape around it to keep it from vibrating loose. Uh, so these are an aftermarket light. They have an extra plug. This plug right here uh, is not what you'll see factory. Um, you'll see like a, almost like a round oval plug. Um, I, I put in, like I said earlier, some cheaper Amazon lights and these. Yeah, the factory already... ones will just come, this plug will be right at the very end, right here. But just plug right in. And I, I put these in because they're LEDs. They're much brighter. This is an older car, um, but also because they're supposed to last longer. But um, yeah. I've only had them like two years. They didn't last very long. Yeah, the electrical tape went around here to make sure they didn't come undone. Yep, that was it. So I have this plug plugged in right here. You can see there's still a little bit of a gap right there. I think that's why I electrical tape it last time. It just does not want to come all the way together. I'm actually going to have Dennis t turn on the headlight and make sure that this works. It's going to be super bright, but we might as well make sure it works before we actually mount it in there. Ooh, look at that. Okay, it works. Uh, you want to check the high beams? Yep, that works too. So now we know that it works. Now I just got to get it clipped up and in. So I've clipped it in so you guys can see what I mean by how it goes across and it locks in right there. That's what you're trying to accomplish once you've put your other bulb in. I'll show you again in a minute. So this is just one more picture that you're going to see where the clip rests over top of where the light bulb will sit. Now we're going to move over to the passenger side of the car where you'll see us do the same thing in repeat. So I went to pull these rivets out and they're already missing from this side. There's a hole here, there's the hole here. Um, so they've probably just vibrated out over time. I mean, this car is, you know, 2007, it is 2022. It's not uncommon for these things to, to go missing, but it did make me pulling this back a lot easier. So I'm gonna reach up in here, pull out. As you'll see, my dexterity is a lot quicker on this side. And undo the electrical tape that I now know is in place around the plug. And I did retape the other one just in case you guys were wondering. So as you guys can see, I'm on the passenger side of the car where you maybe can't see, but you now know. And the clip actually is to the passenger side as well. So they both clip on the same side, go in the same direction. Um, so I hope that I hope that helps you guys when you're just trying to find the hook. Um, it unhooks from the right to the left. And now I'm gonna plug it in and tape it up, call it a day. All right, everybody, so it's back in. Uh, this one didn't, like I said, didn't have didn't have the rivets left, so I'll probably go to the store and just buy some. Um, they're only a couple bucks, but just pushing this out of the way to make sure that when my tire turns, it doesn't bump my fender guard. But it's all back in. It's tucked in behind here in the bumper, which is the most critical because that keeps it up nice and tight. And uh, I'll go turn my headlights on so you guys can see. I don't recommend doing this in the rain. Uh, obviously, you notice I started with gloves on. They were a size too big because I ran out of my smalls, and I just took them off because they were useless. They don't fit right. Don't use them. There's my headlights turned on. So we did test our brights as well. I cut the audio here because the engine running was really loud and you couldn't really hear anything. But uh, both the low beams and the high beams worked and hopefully this was helpful. And as always, uh, if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe.